Um, I'm going to work here a little while with Chef Simon just to talk about some of the new and changes that came on to the Lincoln 2424. Um, as we know our Lincoln, we consider it the <coughs> fastest cooking oven out there because of our dual blower system. And Chef so just what, So what we're doing pizza. here is we're taking the pizza that you just saw be made on the sport table that Chef Patrick made and they talked about. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the Lincoln system. So Lincoln you know, conveyor and pinger ovens, they've been around for decades. Everybody knows them, everybody loves them. They're the super reliable, they're the technology that was the innovative technology. You know, so people ask, what is impingement? Impingement is taking a large amount of air and forcing it through small holes, which speed up the speed of the air and the velocity. What that does is it punches down through the cold bubble around food and allows you to decrease your cooking time and also increase crispness and uh, the browning of the food. So first thing we're going to talk about here is we want to talk about the new digital controller because I think that's the most important. Everybody has cell phones, everybody's used to touch screens, scrolling through, so we want to make sure we're staying at the forefront of technology. So we come over here to our new digital controller. You can see we have lots of things right here. <clears throat> so first and foremost at the top you can see that we have, first and foremost you can see at the top here that it's 425 degrees. Now that's the temperature that we're using inside the cavity. So our 24 by 24 cavity is at 425 degrees. You look to the, the next to it, on the top here is our top fan speed percentage. So it goes anywhere from 40% to 100%. And on the bottom fan speed, you can see it the same way. So why is that important? Why is top and bottom fan speed important? Let's just take right off the bat, let's take this pizza for instance. So everybody kind of has their own way they like to cook pizzas. They have how much browning on the bottom, how much crisping on the, on the crust, so on a pizza, the most resilient part of that pizza, Kevin, is the bottom crust. It can take a lot of heat, it can take a lot of abuse, and it can, in order to get it crisp and brown like that. But all of your delicate features are on the top. So you have your cheeses, you have your pepperonis, you have your vegetables. You know, this day and age, people put anything on pizza, asparagus, salmon, all sorts of stuff. Those features and those ingredients tend to be a little more delicate and they can't react as well. So you can adjust that top and bottom fan speed so that you can brown and crisp on the top but also deal with those nice delicate features on can the I top. Can I ask how you did that before the controller? How would you adjust those speeds? Uh, the top and bottom heat? Was it with fingers? Was it? No, well before we'd have to do a finger adjustment. We'd have to do a full finger adjustment with it and we'd have to uh, we'd have to change the fingers uh, depending upon what we wanted. But the old school one, it was fast break. So, and here's an instance I can show you. So we're talking about temperature. So this pizza was supposed to go through six minutes. Live TV, I made a mistake. So what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to change this to four minutes. And we're going to put the pizza back in at the other end, being live TV. And we're going to increase the fan speed. So we want the bottom part of this fan to be 100. And we're going to want the top part of this fan to be 60. So you can kind of hear the fan speeds ramping up. We're going to put the pizza back in. And in four minutes, with a total cook time of six minutes, the pizza will come out brown and crisp. The instruction for this pizza says 16 to 18 minutes. We're going to do it in six minutes. So on a traditional de deck oven that you would see in a corner pizzeria, as Chef says, it's probably 15, 18 minutes. This cuts it down by 60% cook About time. that, yes. And a guy from New York that I love, we, I love my pizza, the great thing is that top and bottom control, midstream, you can adjust that top heat. So in case a customer wants a pizza with high water content, peppers, mushrooms, yep. you can just increase the top speed to give more heat on top. Yeah, so we can change it on the fly. We can actually have settings. We can actually have settings in the background that we can actually have different recipes for different menus depending on what you're doing. If you have a, something different during the day or at night, um, so you can actually have these settings preset so that you don't have to have to worry about your staff chefing up the food. It can it can uh, easily just be preset so that when the pizza goes in, you know when the pizza goes in this end, it's going to come out perfectly at this end. So another great feature of our ovens ovens is is that we have an auto reversing belt. What does that mean? 
So with the push of a button, we can go left to right or right to left, depending upon where we're at. So why is that important? The reason that's important is, is because restaurants are always changing. So one day, this oven might be sitting here, but with an additional piece of equipment or additional restaurant uh, menu items, you might want to move that down to this end. So what does that mean? So once the food coming back here was coming this way, now we need the food to go this way. With our ovens, it's a push of a button. With our competition, you're probably gonna have to send that oven or sell it or have to reconfigure your line completely or buy a whole new oven because that's how they come from the factory. They don't have auto reversing left to right, right to left. They come from the factory that way. So that's where the problem be. Or if you're designing a new kitchen, as we know, Kevin, when you're designing a kitchen, it, everything goes perfect, right? Everything 100%, changes. Right. So the engineers and the architects put the plug here, but it ends up all the way down there. So what do you do? Well, with our oven, you just push the oven down there, you plug it in, you push your button, and it goes left to right, right to left. With our competition, you send that oven back to the factory, and you wait for them to send you a new one, which can delay your start time, which can delay everything, and most of all, it can delay your profits. So that can always be a problem. You know, talking to a chef yesterday, one of the most expensive things in kitchens and restaurants are the hood space. Can you explain our ventless system more and can we double stack it? Can we single it? What, what are the guidelines? Because ventless, as you see, we're under a hood here. You may not have the capability to be under a hood. So with the ventless system, it's a definitely a bonus for the end user. So our oven, this oven here, has a, a catalytic converter in the back. And you know, catalytic converter, everybody thinks your car, your muffler. It's actually very similar technology. Um, what it does is it helps scrub out to help scrub out the grease latent particulates. So as the air vents out, those grease latent particulates don't go out into the atmosphere. As of right now, this oven we can have that's a single stack, a single stack oven right now. Um, in the near future, we're going to be able to double stack this oven, so too high, and it's still the UL certified ventless. And on top of that, if your business dictates, you can actually stack this oven three high. Wow. So if you require that type of, that type of cooking, that type of power, the unfortunate thing is under a three high, you're going to have to have it under a vent. Also, all of our, all of our ovens can be either electric or they can be gas. The thing with gas is, as everybody knows, that, of course, will have to be under hood. There's uh, no amount of catalytic converter that will make that UL certified ventless. But on the electric, we can be ventless. Yep. And we can use it in front of a house for demo kick yeah, we can. You, oh, can that's, uh, you can put it anywhere. Anywhere you can find a 50 amp three-phase plug, you can put that anywhere that that plug would be. OK. So as with all of the well-built equipment, we try to back it up with a great warranty. The 2424 comes with a two-year warranty, which is probably one of the best, if not the best It's unheard of. It's unheard of. And when the pizza comes out in a few minutes, a huge modern change we made was the door removal, and there's a reason for it. Up till now, as we know, to change a conveyor belt in a conveyor oven, you would have to work out to the side, right, Chef? Yep. And right now, take this situation where you may have a fryer or a combi oven. How do you get that belt out? So once we open the door, you'll see the door is removal. And we'll be able to lift the conveyor straight out, make it easy to clean, make it user friendly to clean. Don't forget, you can also get this in a split belt. So what is a split belt? It's exactly what it is. The belt is split into two separate. So this belt itself is 24 inches wide. So we get 24 by 24. So we could have two 12 inch belt speeds. So we could have two different belt speeds. Why is that important? Well, not everything cooks at the same time. So you could have add a lot more versatility to your menu. You can add a lot more features to your menu. A lot of things that you couldn't offer with just one single belt speed. So we can see here, our pizza's coming out and not through the magic of television, but through the magic of Lincoln, we have a perfectly cooked pizza. Now, if you thought this pizza was maybe a little overcooked, you can easily adjust the, thing, the fan speed top and bottom, nice brown crust on the bottom, nice brown cheese on the top. Okay, why don't you show them the inside of this oven? 
As we spoke earlier about the fingers, in case you don't know, these are your finger systems. So normally up till now, if you wanted to change out your finger system, you'd have to wait till the oven cools down and then pull each finger out and maybe put a larger one in if you need more top heat. Or maybe put fingers in with smaller holes for less top heat. You saw a chef just change a button. He can do it in midstream. If somebody orders a pizza that's coming through and they want extra toppings and they have a lot of high moisture contents like peppers and mushrooms, he can kick it up to 70 and boom, he's got more toppy. We don't have to fumble with the fingers anymore. And again, I can't stress how much this removable door is for cleaning. Remember, if you make it easy to clean, you got it? I would do it. If you make it easy to clean, hopefully your employees will clean it. So all we would have to do at the end of the night is lift this puppy up and take it out. Up until the removable door, as I said, and, and Chef said earlier about changing the belt, you would have to force this out through the side or there. If there's another piece of equipment or um, a refrigerator there, it's going to be very cumbersome, and then you're actually spinning the entire oven. So this is a great feature. We offer on other brands, which are other models, which we'll go through, but easy to clean, easy to maintain, easy to service. And that's the biggest thing. You know, you have to keep it easy for yourself and safer too. This is a lot easier and a lot safer to pull straight out like this with two people than trying to pull it all the way down the line. It could cut up, it could get hemmed up in there, it could get caught on the different fingers. So we, it could be a real safety issue, not on, t on top of a cleaning issue yeah. too. Yeah, you remember, safety is so big in kitchens. So, the, and again, the main thing is we now put the controls in a nice cool area. We're not leaning over a hot oven. We're not leaning over product. We're not leaning over food to change the control. 24 by 24 inch cooking chamber, split belt, control in the cool zone, removable door. What more can you ask? Yeah. So I guess we should probably take some questions now, right? Uh, some yeah, questions yeah, that let's came see up. if any are coming in. Uh, hey. Um, how is the 2424 different from other Lincoln ovens? And you may be the expert on this. Well, you know, it's the first Lincoln oven with independent top and bottom. And again, we've touched on top and bottom and why it's important. You know, the reason it's important is because you can be able to control that fan speed. You don't have to, no longer have to go in and change these fingers. You can go in there top and bottom fan speed. Um, you can adjust the air, like I already spoke to, from 40% to 100% to get that perfect bake, top and bottom. Very good. Uh, let's see if something else there comes other ones? in. Okay, what well, we went through this earlier, yeah. but it never hurts to repeat it. Maybe they missed the, the description of ventless. What does electric ventless mean? Well, we spoke about it before. Electric ventless, electric ventless is, uh, is the grease emission. We have the catalytic converter on the back of it. So during the cooking for a single stack right now on electric, it actually is UL certified ventless. Um, so we can put this anywhere, like I said, with a, a 50 amp three-phase uh, three plug on it. In the very, very near future, we will have, be able to double stack it and it will be UL certified ventless. And we're down to, run out of time here. I'll see if there's one quick one we can answer. There we go. And real quick, can the 2424 be available in gas and propane? Yes, it 100% can be gas and propane, but again, any gas appliance in your will be required to be under the hood. Uh, electric, our electric again, is UL certified ventless and does not require a hood system as much. One more, give me one more. What is the warranty on the upper end? Uh, That's you. All right, what do we say? Two years, two year parts and labor warranty. One of the, if not the best in the industry, it's a feeling of confidence when you buy a Lincoln oven. So you're not just buying it, they're not just shipping it to you, we're supporting it with the well-built service team. So Kevin, let's pass it on to the next people. Oh wait, wait, we are That's the next us. people. So let's step over here to show some more great Lincoln products. Wait, as we're leaving, one came in real quick. Oh, does the uh, cooking performance compare to the Lincoln Fast Bake? So when we revolutionized the Lincoln Fast Bake, it was 30% faster than standard baking. Wow. Okay. So on top of that, now the 2424 is 10% faster than the revolutionary fast bake. So that means it cooks even 30 to 45 seconds faster than the standard Sweet. fast bake. So there you go. Speed, consistency, flexibility, and simplicity.